Hi everyone, one happy twenty here. Um, not myself lately. I've been really stressful, um, family and stuff like that. And this is all this. Today the video is about sex, like guys and girls. What's pros and cons about each other? And right now I'm not feeling not not too great. I mean, well, I feel better. I mean, I feel okay, but I um, I'm not in a good mood lately because I'm in craving for sex and I don't want to do any more to myself so I'm like I need somebody to do it for me uh, like it's like girls get periods it's like that it hurts because every time I try to I can't do it I have to have somebody to, uh, something to be on my penis but let's not worry about it um pros and cons about girls and guys number one guys cannot get pregnant you already know that they could basically wear a condom to make sure girls don't get pregnant or get ST. I mean, so in place won't get STDs from a girl with a condom on because it, it, it's not open. Like it's protecting the penis. But if the if the condom breaks in the penis, uh, basically you get STD from the 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 vagina of the liquid inside it, like yell, um, like where she pees, where you know all that good stuff, great stuff. Ugh. But there's a topic that you guys probably don't know. Guys are much better. I um, just want you to know, much easier than girls. I, I'm no offense, girls around here watching my videos. Um, you guys get your, you guys get your periods all the time. You get cramps. That's like periods, I think. Um, and boobs, vagina. Um, that's like all like guys shouldn't have, you know what I'm trying to say? So guys are lucky and guys don't crave every five minutes to have sex. It's, it's weird how girls are, but it takes long for a girl to get what they want. You know, like, oh, I feel so good. Guys, once a guy have sex with himself over a girl, the sperm makes you feel better. It makes you like, oh, I feel so good. Then that's it. You dropped it. Because you did it, you played yourself. But girls, on other hand, they're like what 20 to 30 minutes to have sex. On guys, it's like five to ten minutes, or depending on if you do it slow or whatever. Um, and that's it, that's only one time. And you guys could do it so many times without getting pregnant or with an STD by their own penis. Now, for girls and a guy together, they could get STDs from you, from the guys. If you guys have sex with a dozen girls. Um, I'm a virgin, by the way. I just want to let you guys know I'm a virgin. And I'll stay virgin and, um, until I'm ready to have kids or have sex with a girl. But lately, I'm not doing... The reason why I haven't been on YouTube is because I'm just, like, in not a good mood lately. I've been for a long time now that I don't want to do it. I crave for it. And I want to do it by a girl. Not just myself. It doesn't work like that. It's, it needs, you know. Um, what else? Um, get, girls get, like, pregnant and they have to deal with uh, the pushing out the baby and it hurts and stuff like that. Guys don't do that. Guys don't have that issue. Guys are very lucky. And basically, like, we don't have boobs. We, we clean our body really quick. Other girls, girls have the queen in the vagina, and we don't do that because we just soak our penis and then uh, and rinse it all off. That's it. It's and then we pee standing up. When they pee, they have to sit down. Now that's kind of stupid, but whatever. It's part of the body works, you know. Um, it's really easy for guys because we can aim better. Girls have to like sit down and not aim. It's like not trick teaching them how to aim. You know what I'm trying to say? Because you're sitting down, peeing, and all the piss is coming from your vagina down. But when a girl, when a guy, we train our penis to put in a certain area to pee in the toilet. Well, spraying all the freaking toilets. Um, I personally lift the seat up because that's recommended. Because if you don't put the seat up and you get all urine on it and the girl sits down, that's gross. She don't want to sit in guys' burn. I mean, burn. Guys' urine and stuff. Um, what else? Um, guys have sperm. 
But girls have eggs. Now, we can have sex with ourselves all day long if you wanted to and not get a girl pregnant. And that is, let's see. Oh, and then girls gets mad easily and take easily and takes longer to get over it. Like guys, we we get rid of it like mad flip like that because we got over it. We just, you know, and then when the girl like comes back, you said, "I'm so mad." You blah 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 blah. It's like they're trying to get your reaction up and they're trying to to get you feel upset and aggressive. And if you do try to kill yourself, guys. Don't put me into your fucking issues. Don't ever, never put me on your drama with your family members. I have shit going on in my family right now. I'm not in a good mood with my fucking mom. Um, she is pissing me off. Like, I, she told me on the phone, I mean, not the phone, Facebook a month ago saying, oh, call me tomorrow and we could talk about what's going on with me and you. So I called her tomorrow, that day after, before she never spoke to me. She didn't answer. And I left her a message saying, Mom, you told me to call you. Call me back. She never did. So then I replied back on Facebook and she did. No. So I don't, I don't fucking care about my family anymore. I think I just want to be out of everybody's fucking life. Really. Only anybody that talks to me now is my sister Rachel, who had a kid. That's the only person that's talking to me right now. Other than that, my family just dropped me out of their fucking life. Like, I didn't do shit. What did I do, Mom? What What did I do? Let me know on Facebook what the fuck I did to you. Because I did not. I don't remember anything what, about what I do to you, Mom. I did not reply nasty. Maybe because people on Facebook is requesting inappropriate things to you, and it's not my fault. Once someone finds you on Facebook, you they send it to everybody who they're friends with, and they do bad things to you. It's not my fault. Get over it, Mom. It's taking forever. This is the fifth month. I mean, five months you haven't spoken to me. And that's fucked up. You're, that has no right. My friend Annie told me, it doesn't matter if she's upset or blah, blah, blah. She has to treat her son like respect, even though she's mad at them. That's true. She's she she's good. She's not Carol. My friend Annie. She knows. She has problems with her son. She's mad at him. And they still talk. No matter how it is, she said, no matter what what you cause to not speak to me. She said, you're supposed to talk to your son no matter what. And that's true. But whatever, I'm not fucking getting into this shit anymore. I'm done. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. This might be my last video. Or just not last video, but just take a break for a little while. All right, love you guys. Peace.